Hey what's up guys and this video we are going to talk about error in javascript. So error refers to an unexpected condition that prevents the normal execution of code. So error can be syntax error or it can be reference error encountered during the code execution. So errors can be coding errors made by the programmer or it can be due to wrong input. So whatever the reason we need to handle the error properly so that the program does not crash. So in javascript we use the try catch statement to handle the error and the syntax is first we have the try keyword with a block of code and right after the try block we have the catch block with one error parameter so inside the try block we write the code that needs to be tested for any kind of error and if there any kind of error occurs then the catch block will contain the code that will handle the error so the try block will contain the code that has the potential of generating error and if there is any kind of error occurs then it will throw one error and the error will be handled by the catch block and we have to write the code inside the catch block to handle the error like an example we are gonna create one variable x with the value 1 and now we're gonna assign x equal y plus 1 so I have intentionally put this expression so this expression is generating error because y is not defined in the code and we are trying to use this so this is generating one reference error now this error object will be thrown and here inside the catch block we need to write the code to handle the error so for now we're just gonna console log the error so error has two properties it has the name and message property so we're gonna print error dot name and if we print error dot message so you can see the name is reference error and the message is y is not defined so here this line of code is generating the reference error so the error is handled by the catch block and also we have the throw statement and we can use the throw statement to create our custom error like an example so we're gonna put one condition so if x is equal one then we're gonna throw so the throw statement can throw bunch of different type of errors it can throw string error so here we are throwing the string error now inside the catch block we have to write the code to handle the error for now we're just gonna console log the error so you can see we are getting the string error as output similarly also it can throw number as a error or even we can throw boolean values and also we can throw one new object like an example we can create a new error so we are creating new error object with the string custom error so we can print the name of the error or we can print the message of the error so this is the name of the custom error and this is the message of the custom error and also we have the final statement so the final statement comes right after the try catch block and the final statement contains block of code that will always be executed regardless of the result from the try and catch block so it does not matter if there is any error inside the try block or not or even the catch block is handling the error or not the code inside the final block will always be executed irrespective of their result like an example here inside we can just simply console log finally always executes we have the message finally always executes so this block of code will always execute regardless the result from the try and catch block so this is the way we can use the try block to test for any kind of error in the code then we use the throw statement to throw any kind of custom error and then the thrown error will be handled by the catch block and after that we have the finally block so the code we write inside the finally block will always be executed regardless of the result from the try and catch block so hope you understand the concept we'll see you on the next one take care